So every year when we light the Hanukkah menorah, we're not allowed to use the lights for anything because it's a very spiritual light. But we light Shabbos candles every Friday night too, and that's also a spiritual light, yet we can use it. I mean, we have electricity now, but we don't need it, but we could use it if we needed it as light. I was just curious, what's the difference with the two spiritual lights? And also on the Shabbos candles, when you light it, it's a favorable time for prayer. When we light the menorah, is it also a favorable time for prayer? Okay, double-header question here. The Hanukkah lights can't be used for anything. We said, uh, you know, that uh, we can't use them for any purpose, other than we can only watch them. And we can only watch them. So how about Shabbos candles? That's why you light the Shabbos, right? No. Well, he's saying that Hanukkah candles are spiritual lights, and Shabbos candles are spiritual lights. But we can use the Shabbos candles. We're even supposed to use the Shabbos candles, but we, you know, we don't, and we're not allowed to use the Hanukkah candles. What's the difference? And also, it's a propitious time to pray when one kindles the Shabbos candles. Is it a propitious time to pray when one lights the Hanukkah menorah as well? Okay, great question. The answer is that the reason for lighting the Hanukkah candles is totally different from the reason for lighting Shabbos candles. Hanukkah candles are for us to look at them and remember the miracles, remember the Torah, the light of Torah, and therefore we don't want to use it for anything else because we want to concentrate on the miracles and the Torah and all it represents. We could talk about a whole night what it represents, but basically speaking, Shabbos candles were originally originated by the rabbis in order to have light in the house Shabbos. It shouldn't be dark. People living in a dark house can't really enjoy the evening, Shabbos, because they can't see where they are. They can trip on this, trip on that, and they can't see what they're doing. So they made a special law to light Shabbos candles in order to enjoy and to use those lights, in order not to have a dark house in Shabbos, which would not be earning Shabbos, not in the spirit of Shabbos, but would sit in the dark. So therefore, the whole reason for that was in order to enjoy Shabbos the way it should be. So it's spiritual also, because we want Shabbos to be uh, celebrated in the best way possible that should be light in the house. So therefore, the whole total different reason for the two lights that we have. As far as praying is concerned, definitely there is a to Ellis and the benefit for a person to pray by the Hanukkah light just like the Shabbos lights. As a matter of fact, the rabbis tell us that somebody who's careful with Shabbos candles and Hanukkah candles, they have, he'll have children that are Torah scholars. Again, because the lights represent the light of Torah, and therefore a person who's careful to light Hanukkah candles like he should at the right time, and the right uh, Erev Shabbos, and on Shabbos, I mean after Shabbos, and all the laws pertaining to Hanukkah lights, if he's careful, he will have the schools to have children that are Torah scholars, and therefore uh, many people say many prayers in front of the Hanukkah candles. No, no question about it. So it's certainly a very time, a very mesugal and very appropriate time to pray to Hashem when those candles are burning. Right now, anybody has good prayers, some prayers, it'll be very appropriate to pray now and whatever, whatever. if someone's looking for a shidduch or looking for a shalom bayis or something for children or whatever they need, parnosa, whatever, it would be very appropriate to pray in front of the Shabbos candles. Pray to Hashem, not to the candles. Pray to Hashem in the merit of the... Of the, of the. Hey, we have an online question. Last night, we were giving out at the concert, they gave out... Uh, Dollar, uh, what do you call them? Metal dollars. What do you call them? Metal the dollars. Coin, coins. Coin, coin, dollar coins. Some man came up to me and said, all the blessings are in this coin over here, right? I have this coin, I have all the blessings. I said, no, no, God gives the blessing, not the coin. The coin gives the blessing. So <laughs> take the coin and buy a soda with it. Don't, it doesn't give blessings. God gives blessings. But people uh, sort of uh, had a tendency to use uh, more uh, the things they could touch to, to uh, be able to... Uh, uh, to this uh, 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 and, 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 and connect to, to it. But we have to connect to God. Okay. Well, they say a guy came to a Kabbalist once. He was looking, he was collecting money. And he asked him, uh, he asked him for money. So the guy gave him a dollar. He said, this is a blessed dollar. He said, you know what, Rabbi? Do you have a cursed hundred instead? 